Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming to the phase one ribbon cutting ceremony, hopefully the first of a few phases. Uh, as you can see, they've done a wonderful job. Starting from the main entrance over, the entire entryways have been redone and they've resealed the building as far as uh, water infiltration and things like that. So um, there's a lot of stars aligning going on. That's our big thing for this year. A uh, little thing that I'd like to mention today is we have the Wellington Ukulele Orchestra here today from New Zealand. And the original architect of the building, Frank Leary's grandchildren are from New Zealand. We got a phone call a couple months ago. We're gonna be here January 11th. And there they are right over there. The grandchildren of the original architect. And then of course we threw them under a bus said, hey, come to the ribbon coming ceremony. <laughs> So there are a lot of people to thank, and so I'd like to introduce Mayor Mitchell to uh, continue thanking. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Uh, welcome. Um, this is uh, this is a lot of fun. I mean, um, in law school, uh, if you if you went to law school like me, and I hate to admit that I did, but uh, one of the few things I remember from law school was a, was a Latin term called uh, uh, "res ipsa locator," which uh, loosely translated means "the thing speaks for itself." And uh, we're here today to, to really celebrate something that really proclaims itself. I mean, this is a fantastic uh, renovation of one of uh, our most important civic buildings, uh, one of the most important civic buildings in, um, in Greater New Bedford, in fact, the whole state. Uh, the Zyterian, we're so proud of the Zyterian. When we talk, uh, each one of us talks about how uh, all the great things that are going on in New Bedford. Uh, inevitably, um, the Zyterian is part of that discussion because this is a place where uh, we get to have uh, big city offerings uh, in a city that is one of the, uh, the most, uh, the, the richest culturally, uh, one of the uh, most rich, rich cultural cities in the United States. Uh, we often like to uh, remind people of the, the, the density of artists in New Bedford, uh, according to the Atlantic Monthly, New Bedford has the seventh highest per capita no, number of artists of any city in the United States. Um, New Bedford has many uh, important uh, cultural institutions like the Zyterian uh, that, that uh, support uh, artists. And we are a city that is, by its own culture, disposed to um, uh, artistic offerings. It's been that way since the whaling days. And so we're really proud to stand in front of a building like this and, uh, and to say, you know, New Bedford, New Bedford is willing to put its money where its mouth is. Um, you know, we have many demands uh, as a city, uh, on our city government uh, in this day and age. It's, we work very hard uh, to make ends meet. Uh, it's just the way things are in urban America right now. We do a very good job managing uh, the city's money. Thank you very much. But we also, but managing money also means picking priorities, uh, and we think that despite all the, the demands on on municipal funds uh, and uh, municipal uh, bond authorizations, um, that uh, standing behind a major cultural institution like this is important to us. We, uh, this is a reflection. Uh, this project really is a reflection of uh, of the way Du Bedford sees art. As part of its, uh, as part of the life of the community. So, uh, we're very proud of how it looks. Durkee Brown, uh, the architects that have really have specialized uh, over time uh, in theater restoration, did a fantastic job here, as they've done a fantastic job at, at many um, cultural institutions in New England, especially in Providence. This is this is first rate. And when I walked by here the other day, I, I, I hadn't I hadn't been by in, in a couple of months, and I. I stopped, as many of you, I'm sure, did, and said, wow, that looks fantastic. And it does. It looks really fantastic. So there are lots of thanks to go around. Let me, uh, let me thank Justin and Rosemary Gill for their steady hand at uh, the wheel here at the Zyterian. The Zyterian is going strong. It's growing. Um, it's growing very fast. Uh, and uh, you guys have really stepped up in a huge way uh, and continue to make it really a a pillar of our, uh, our downtown, and that's something that we are building on right now. I want to thank uh, Larry Hunt, uh, the chairman of the board, whom I will invite up in a moment to say a few words. Uh, Larry has been uh, uh, also a, a, a rock uh, in terms of um, keeping things steady despite challenges over the last couple of years. The Z has a lot of momentum right now, and it's building and, it, and it's gaining uh, gaining momentum right now and building toward a, a better future, and we're all very bullish on it. I want to thank the whole board for, uh, for their support and their financial contributions to this institution. Uh, Durkee Brown, uh, fantastic work, uh, as always. Uh, Pat Sullivan, 
our Director of, of Housing and Community Development, uh, and his team, Richard Bruce, there's Pat right over there, uh, for, uh, for all of your work, guys, and, uh, and, and completing yet another great project in the city using, uh, in part, community uh, development block grants, federal money, as well as city money to make this thing happen. Uh, I want to thank the Massachusetts Cultural uh, Council, uh, uh, their Cultural Facilities Fund for uh, funding uh, this uh, in part. It's very important to us. Uh, we've gotten great support from the state. We're looking for more, of course. We'll take more anytime, but we want to thank you for that. Uh, and last, I want to thank uh, um, uh, my colleagues on the city council for, uh, for making this happen. It is, it is hard to find money to make things work these days. It really, it really is, and uh, our city council really stepped up uh, to, to fund this, um, uh, this improvement because it knows how important uh, it is uh, to uh, the lifeblood of our city. I want to call up uh, City Council President Brian Gomes to offer a few words and to introduce the, the other uh, the councilors who are in attendance today. But thank you, everybody. Thank you very much, Mayor Mitchell. It's an honor and a privilege to be here. Let me introduce who is here with me this uh, afternoon, and that's uh, Vice President of the New Bedford City Council and Ward 6 Councilor Joe Lopes, Ward 1 Councilor James Oliveira, Councilor at Large Linda Morad, and Councilor at Large David Owls. On behalf of the entire City Council, uh, as I said, it's an honor to be here in a building that has um, given so much to the community, the history within this building that goes way back. I, mean, I remember I just had a conversation inside with uh, one of the Standard Times photographers about um, the building as a young man and coming in this building and watching a couple of movies on uh, Sunday afternoon for probably about 25 cents, 50 cents that your mom gave you. She probably gave you a dollar and then you could get some goodies and all that. But the building has given so much to the arts and culture of this city and we want to thank you for that. And the entire city council um, has been very supportive in the ventures of uh, the Zyterian and will continue to be because we know it's a beacon within the community. Thank you for the opportunity and congratulations to all who are responsible. Uh, at this time I'd like to also introduce Larry Hunt, uh, current president of the board. Thank you. Thank you all very much. Um, it's always hard to, to follow good speakers, so if I'm, if I'm short, um, you're welcome. Um, on behalf of the board, many members who are here today, um, I just wanted to say, you know, thank you and how wonderful this is. Um, the Z is a beautiful building inside and out, and now this facade um, is showing that. Um, the things that the Z does on the inside are wonderful, but they pale in comparison to the things that the Z does on the outside. Um, the support of the community um, and just having events like this and letting everything that the Z does kind of show. So thank you all very much and thank you the mayor and city council. Are you ready for the big scissors? And now we're going to do the ribbon cutting. <laughs> all right. Yeah. These, uh, these are insufficient. We need something bigger. <laughs> all right. You guys like it? <laughs> All right. All right. Let me count three. One, two, three. <laughs> 